Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Crafty Crow Show. I know, I owe you all a video for last week. I know, I've been busy guys, I'm sorry. So to make it up, and for being late this week a little bit, how about I share a secret? A secret with me and you, actually a secret with all of you history nerds like I am. Um, I'm gonna show you a secret on how to do some of my research for Harlan County history, but you can also use it in your town especially the bigger towns, probably around the nation. We'll have to check it out. But stick with us, come with us. Let me let you in on a little history research secret that I've been holding on you. Come on. So we are going to look for Sanborn, our insurance. My brain, guys, this week at work has been fried, so... Um, and what Sanborn fire insurance maps are, it's a, a library of Congress, um, file, but, um, you can see, I've not really known how to explain this to anybody, but I actually read this right before I started shooting this video. Crap cleaner is killing me today. Um, it's a searchable database, the fire insurance maps published by the Sanborn map company. Uh, what they basically done, this Sanborn Fire Insurance Company done maps of all across the United States. And uh, it says here, all 50 U.S. states, as well as Canada, Mexico, Cuba sugar warehouses, and U.S. whiskey warehouses. Um, so it's a huge database. So not just for Harlan County history, you can look at whatever town you're from or area you're from, you could look and see what maps they have. And of course, the older the town is, like uh, East Coast towns, you know, you're probably going to have farther back. Uh, but you can search this and you'll see how awesome this thing is. I spent hours on this thing when I first found it. Um, you've got your different countries you can check here, you know, Cuba, Canada, Mexico, but we're in the U.S., so we don't have to click on. So we'll go to Kentucky and hit search. Now, there is all of the cities in Kentucky. So for us, or for where I usually go, we go to Harlan. Um, and I, I don't know if that's counties. I guess it would be counties, but let's see. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh, let's see, there's Cumberland, so you've got Cumberland City, so it is by the cities instead of the uh, the counties. Um, actually, I'll have to check the Cumberland one out sometime then. What if they got Lynch? No, they don't have Lynch, but Cumberland may have Benham and Lynch um, in it. Anyway, Harlan, we're going to Harlan. So here's what you got. They've got um, two, three, four, five... Five different maps. Actually, I can. I found maybe a sixth one uh, because this 1932, there was an update on it, um, a revision or something, if I remember right. You see, you've got two 1925s here. But let's go to the oldest one, February of 1919. There's five sheets in this set, and I'll show you what this looks like. And I swear, if you all love history, you guys will absolutely love this. So here's the fire insurance map, um, February 1919. So you just, uh, it's five images. So it's five different sections that covers all of Harlan City. And we'll pull this up and go to full screen with it. Oh, that's kind of okay. Um, you can zoom in on everything, but this first page gives you your index so you can see. Harlan, Kentucky, Sanborn Map Company, 1919 um, Map Division. This was entered into the Library of Congress, I guess, on April 22nd. But um, what's cool, it gives you a, tells you about the fire department at the time, um, the water facilities at the time. And all these different colored areas is like this is – Image number one, image number two will be this, image number three, and so on. It's got them, you know, numbered one, two, three, kind of what pages you can go to to look in this area if you want to do that. But I usually look at all of them. Um, but this is your index here. But if you zoom back out, since this is page one, we're going to be looking at the Georgetown area 
the uh, North Main Street area, it might be the only two. Um, but what what's cool, this is Fairview, and like I said, 1919. Um, actually, let's go to, and get my bearings here. What's cool, there's Ivy Street, North Cumberland Avenue, Elm Street. This is actually the road that runs right beside the bypass now. So all this was taken up by the bypass. But you can see uh, the addresses are not always right on it. You know, those have changed a little bit, the street numbers. But it gives you the house numbers. So that's house 312 on Cumberland Avenue, North Cumberland Avenue. Um, it gives you, it's telling the deeds, I think, for dwelling. Shows you the porch, kind of the outline structure of the house, one and a half story on this one. Um, you know, it's got the back porch. It kind of gives you some dimensions of the house, where their outbuildings was. Uh, things that would be more related to fire. But this gives you a snapshot of the entire town and how it was laid out at the time this map was done. So if we go see next page, let's see where this takes us. Okay, this is some of the downtown area. You've got, uh, there's Mound Street and Main Street. So in 1919, well, currently on the corner of North Main and Mound, this is where the Baptist Church would be. And as you can see, there is no Baptist Church here in 1919. Or is that a Methodist? Is it the Methodist Church right here? I can't remember which church that is. Um, that church is there. Here's the Harlan Hospital on the corner of Mound and, uh, what was that, Second. Mound and Second, that's where the old hospital was, but it was just a one um, building instead of the two buildings that was there. Um, uh, this is one of the cool things. Shady Lawn Hospital. This is where the post office, Harlan's post office is now. So before that post office uh, property was taken by the federal government and built, you've got Shady Lawn Hospital. That was right there, and it's just, you know, right down the street from the Harlan Hospital. So this would have been an older hospital, and this would have been considered a new hospital then. Um, you've got some of the downtown stuff. Here's Central Street. Here's the courthouse, and this would have been the courthouse previous to the one that's there now. Uh, and I showed you a picture on my courthouse video and stuff. I'll link up here for you, but... Um, on the courthouse videos, this is how I actually kind of found these maps was doing that courthouse research. But there's the courthouse, got the Masonic Hall here, and it shows you uh, South Main Street. You've got uh, on the corner of South Main and Eversole, the Kelly Hotel. Uh, this right in here, actually right in here is where the Llewellyn Hotel would have been. Um, You've got the Christian church. This is before they built it up and had that big portico, which is not there now. Uh, but this was the original, I guess, Christian church there. Um, you've got down here on this corner, this is where the commissary, for all of you that live here now, this is where the commissary was. Um, but as you can see, there's houses and stuff here now. The Harlan Hotel, which I think uh, some of the later ones has it as the Lewis Hotel. This is where the police station and stuff is now. And you've got the bypass again that goes all down through here. Uh, there was a library there, wagon shop there. It's uh, a town hall up here where, uh, where is this Central and what street is this? South Main. So Central and South Main, where... Uh, the Portal Pizza place is. That was the town hall before it was a bank. You know, so it, it tells you the post office was back here behind Coming Up Roses. You've got a bank here on the corner now, and this is just a little parking lot, but that used to be where the post office was located. You know, it'll tell you there's a, a movie theater. You know, you all, I could take forever even making this video, I just want to sit here and look at this because this is all just amazing to me. The Creech Hotel, this is where this whole block is where the Justice Center is now. Uh, we've seen up here what the fire department was up here off of Main Street, 
and the current fire department now sits right here in this area so it almost went back to where it originally was you know over the years um this stuff is great i absolutely love looking at these maps because like i said this is a exact snapshot of what harlan looked like in 1919 you got these hotels up here this is where the baptist church started on the corner of Third Street and Mound, uh, I think. Let's see, let me get my bearings right. I think right in here, if I'm not mistaken, is where like Rich Funeral Home is now. Um, you know, there's so much, and and this is just 1919. Uh, public school right there. Uh, the Presbyterian Church was. Um, According to Mr. Davies, is the oldest church in Harlem, was this uh, Red Roof Presbyterian Church right here. Um, you've got Harlem Public School over here, where the bus garage is now. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's a different part of the map. This is, you got Central Street there, William Street. So this is the original school of where the school was. You know, right now you've got the school fronts right here. The high school's over here. Uh, this back parking lot, the playground stuff back here, but Harlem Public School there. And this says Public School, which is uh, just an old building stuff now. This whole area right here is taken up by the school now, by the high school. Um, the guy I work with, Kobe, um, lives in the oldest house in Harlem. It's still a log cabin underneath the stucco. That's this house right here. So I, I, I'm, I geek out over this. I mean, I hope some of you can appreciate it as much as I do because it's just a big geek out thing. Um, there's the Clover Fork. Uh, you've got right here, um, this is where, all this is where um, the Harlan Center is now. So where the Polk Salad Festival and everything takes place, Huff Park would have been over here. This is the lower parking lot, but down next to the river, there was a grist mill, and this should have been a sawmill. It's not marked as that, but I know there was a sawmill down there too early on. Um, you know, this is before the Black Motor Company was built and stuff here. That's uh, Harlem Funeral Home and stuff now. It's just, it's just amazing. The high rise over here is where the high rise was. You had all these houses and stuff before the high rise was built. You've got the new Harlan Hotel, which turned into Ackley's, which is gone now, and HT Hackney stuff. Uh, you can see the L N Train Depot, kind of how all that was laid out. Um, I don't know if this is actually Kentucky Mine or if it was on down, but. Uh, Smith Bottling Works is right there, and the Harlem Water Works, which is where you still pay your water bill and stuff, is in this building here. Um, McCombs, I, <laughs> like I said, I know I'm going on. Look how big you have Jellico Grocery here, and then the Pope and Kaywood Lumber, this entire area over where Horizon and stuff is now, all this. And this gets bigger as you go later on in the years. Their uh, lumber yard and stuff took up a large amount of this area. So, you know, you have to go out here and kind of orient yourself a little bit. All the streets are labeled and stuff, so that makes life easier. But you can look and see in 1919 exactly how all this stuff was laid out. Here's Sunshine, you know, Community of Sunshine over here. The Wallings Creek Coggeries. This was the coal mine up in Sunshine, and this is, because uh, I've looked at this one some too, this, all this area in here is what turned into, uh, what's the name of the apartments up there, guys? Um, Holly Point. Holly Point Apartments was all built on the property that what used to be this Wallens Creek um, Collieries or coal company, same difference. Anyway, this entire thing is just cool. It is so cool to me. Let's go to the previous pages here. So that was 1919. And like I said, you can look and uh, 
at the other ones, you've got 1925, and the coal boom started around this area in 1919, you know, 1911 was the first tracks. So the growth between all these maps, you know, that's what, six years between the first one we just looked at and this one. And then from March of 25 to October of 25, there was so much growth, they had to totally redo it again. And then by 32, it had grown so much again. And this actually includes some of Baxter uh, out toward the coal monument and stuff. Now, that's how I done some of the research and found out about the the roads and things for um, how 119 come about and all that when I was researching. So this is an absolutely valuable tool if you're doing any kind of research in Harlan. But like I said, you can research your own town and do this same thing. You can see uh, Lexington and some of them go back to, I think, the late 1800s or something. I've not really looked at them, but I know there's a lot more to them. Um, there's an old concrete bridge that used to go over into Sunshine. This is all Sunshine. This is out uh, on the south end of town here. I know I'm rambling. I'm just geeking out. You know, there's the, the new completed... With the jail on the fourth floor, you can see here it says on the courthouse, this is the one we have now. It's got the portico out on front. Uh, jail's on the fourth floor, which that's true. Gives you some of the construction on some of these buildings. Fireproof construction, except wood partitions uh, throughout. Brick-bearing walls, stone face, concrete floors, and roof. It kind of tells you some of the dimensions on some of these buildings, um, a lot of them, and some of them are actual construction of the building. So, humongous, humongous. You can see where the dollar store and stuff is here. There's a filling station and stuff there, you know. And uh, this medicine facility, if I remember right, on the side of that building, there's still something about a pharmacy or something painted on the side of the brick on that building. Uh, this is after Ford Motor was built. It doesn't show it because I, I made an attempt to look the uh, hidden cemetery that's not hidden anymore would have been right in this section. And uh, it doesn't show that cemetery. I thought that was kind of odd. So it don't mark things like that. It's just building construction and location of. But, you know, you can already see just looking at this part of town, how much changed you've got. To, now you've got the Llewellyn Hotel has been built and stuff uh, where the commissary was. You've got Hotel Lewis sets on the corner where the commissary was. Got a big garage that went behind it. That was parking probably for the hotels and stuff, a machine shop. It's just amazing. So I'll quit blabbing. I'll probably stop my recording here and just keep looking, even though I've looked at these a hundred times, just because you see something new every time. Uh, there's all kinds of auto repair places and stuff here in town. I thought was, was pretty cool. That's a lot of them's labeled. Um, Let's see if it goes. I don't think it goes that far, but this would have been in 32. The Baptist Church would have been up here on the corner and stuff. I mean, it, you know, it would have been right over here. So anyway, there's my little secret. And let's see, there's the post office, that shady lawn. It's not there anymore. I, <laughs> here's my big secret, how I do a lot of research for this type of stuff here in town. This is how I get my information. And, um, I don't know. I just, I just thought it'd be cool to show you all and kind of give you a little nugget because you know I didn't get your video out last week and I'm pretty late this week with the video. But um, yeah, so it's you know it's all Library of Congress. It's all free, but it's Sanborn Fire Insurance maps. Like I said, if you're not from Harlan, because I know some of you are not, that might be history nerds like me, uh, look up your own towns. Um, just out of curiosity, let's go to a big town. Let's go to Lexington. See, May of 1886 um, is the first one it shows on that. But look how many maps has been revised and stuff just on Lexington from this this one, um, one thing. And there's 
good grief. 23 different maps because, you know, Lexington's a bigger town. So if you ever get curious about looking at another town, what it looked like back in the day, or if you're researching something, and especially if it's not your hometown or something, you've got all these different towns to look for and all these different states and things. So it's a humongous tool for you to use or just to sit and piddle with and look through because it's just cool to see. So there's my secret. I'll let you in on the secret. I hope you all will take some time and look at the Sanborn fire insurance maps available to you from the Library of Congress and find out some information on your hometown. There, now how's that for a little secret? Now, I thought y'all enjoy it. I can sit and look at those things for hours. So I hope you enjoyed getting to be a little secret. I hope you'll enjoy sitting and looking for them, whether you're here from Harlan or wherever else you're from in your hometown, and find out some of the history that's around us each and every day. So until next time, thank you all for stopping by. Remember, love one another as good Lord tells you. We'll see you guys on the next video.